I'm on IBC 2019 shooting videos for my other channel Dutch Video Shooter. I'm now uh, cast on the Super Micro uh, boot with the guys from Surfer Factory. And let's talk about servers. Personally, I use uh, old enterprise hardware, which is really cheap. So I use uh, Socket 1366, Socket 2011 version 2, uh, even a Socket 775 Super Micro server. So that's getting really old and sold off by companies. So I can afford it, but can you show me more about what's on the current market so we can compare it and see where it goes in the future. So uh, my name is Seb, I'm an engineer at Server Factory. Um, so we are system integrators so we always deal with the new releases and um, you know what, what's sort of coming up in the future. Typically nowadays um, most super micro servers uh, use the scalable processors instead of uh, for example E5 processors. Um, so of course they come with more power uh, bigger data loads, more cores, and obviously more expensive as such. The new things with the systems are they are expanding the number of DIMM slots that are available. So typically when you look at um, sort of a Xeon D board, you have a uh, four DIMM motherboard. Um, so you can put maybe, I don't know, 64 gigs of RAM. Whereas, for example, the big twin that I have here has 24 uh, DIMM slots per node. Um, and can go up to six terabytes of total RAM, which is a huge amount comparing to the last couple of years. Uh, two scalable processors on each uh, node, so you can probably get easily 40 cores of um, processing power. The old systems use uh, SATA free drives, SSDs, uh, HDD, uh, HDDs, and SAS. Now the systems are sort of going towards NVMe drives. Yeah. Ah, nice, some real speed. Yes, they are considerably faster than uh, the old uh, SATA drives, but of course, with speed comes price. Um, so in this system, you can have uh, six NVMe drives per node. So and how many nodes will go in this 2U? So this 2U has four nodes. So it, the total system will have um, eight processors and, well, 24 times four, 96 DIMM slots and 24 NVMe drive ports. The nice thing with these systems as well, um, they have two expansion slots, so you can add two network cards, you can add two adapters to have M.2 drives in it. Um, so again, there's more speed, more power, there's more storage. Those would be the main differences between the, the new and the old systems on my half. Uh, for example, I have a dual CPU 2U server with 12, three and a half inch base. Yeah. It's the, uh, and that is one system in the chassis. Is this more like uh, how it will be in the future with like smaller uh, 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 like blade style uh, modules uh, instead of uh, one motherboard in a system or? Well I think that uh, Supermicro is going towards definitely the uh, sort of big twin micro cloud micro blade solutions because in a, in a 2U system you have four nodes so that's four systems in it. Um, Microclouds, for example, you can have 12 nodes in it. So you're thinking in a in a 4U system, you 3U system, you have 12 systems, which of course for rack space makes a lot of sense and power consumption, etc. With the drives, definitely NVMe is becoming more popular. Um, they are a lot faster. The sizes are becoming greater. They are 12 terabyte NVMe drives, for example, um, and they are smaller in size. So again, you don't need a massive system to fit. Uh, 3.5 inch drives. So I would say that I believe in the future we will be seeing more systems like this. Um, you know, it, it, it does make sense when you have one small system for loads of uh, different servers, uh, cost effective as well, um, and you can customize it anytime. Now with AMD releasing the Epic CPUs, that yep. is a big shift in the market because they have something really powerful. Yeah. How uh, will that uh, influence the server market? Yeah, Intel processors have always been the more popular uh, choice. Um, I think that will most likely be the case for the least next 10 years. Um, Supermicro have released a version of this big twin where it is AMD Epic processors instead of uh, scalable. It does give Supermicro that coverage because if you have uh, clients out there that prefer AMD and they can use a system like this with it. I think over the next few years, uh, Supermicro will keep releasing systems that use AMD Epic uh, processors um, because Supermicro doesn't want to um, limit themselves to one channel. They want to expand and they want to bring everyone together in a, in a um, suitable solution. So I think that Supermicro will definitely use more AMD 
processors in the future, yeah. And what I like about Supermicro mm -hmm. is that they don't have much proprietary parts. So when I buy a new system, I can buy other parts from uh, other brands like an LSE SAS controller and put it in and it all works. They just keep the, the normal standard, the normal BIOS, no, no strange tools to configure stuff. So for a home user, that makes it really easy. Will they still keep that going on in this generation with standard parts? Well, with Supermicro, their big advantage is comparing them to Dell and HP, uh, etc. Supermicro have always made their systems easily buildable. Um, you, most people at home can spend an hour and learn how to build a system. It's that simple. Um, so that's why, for example, when you buy something from Dell, it's already built for you. So it's quite difficult to customize it. When you have the system, even something like this, where um, the command board's already installed, you can still change it. You can select how much RAM you want in it, how many, what uh, SSDs, what expansion cards you use. You have that choice, and it, you can do it at any time. When you buy uh, a completed system, it, it's difficult to change it. So uh, they basically make it to the point you can't change it, you have to buy something new. I think Supermicro will still keep to this idea because it is their biggest selling point and is their biggest advantage. Um, it, it, it makes sense because the people at home can actually understand what they're using, they can learn about their system and they can make it to how they need it. No two clients ever need the same system. They will always need something slightly different and Supermicro allows them to do that. So yeah, I think they will carry on to do it. So thank you, that was a lot of nice information. Can you tell a bit more about your YouTube channel? Because you are also active on YouTube. We've recently started our channel. What we're doing is um, we're giving our audience and our customers the chance to see what we do um, every week when we go to events. They know what we're doing, you know, what we're doing to improve ourselves, to, to learn more about the market so we can provide a better service to them. We do also upload videos where they can see us building our building procedures so they know who we are as a company. When they think of us, they think of, um, of actual uh, people working hard to give them a service. When you do have loads of companies, they don't see a face to the company. You just know the name and, and that's where it ends. So we want people to understand the quality content we're creating for them so they can see what we're doing, where we are, uh, interact with us. You know, Any questions, we always are happy to answer. Um, we would like to get to our audience to know, to know us better and in turn they'll be happy with our service. I really like their videos where they uh, explain new technology. They are just uh, short videos but after it you know what it is. They are really nice information that you give about it. So about the videos where we um, do for example comparison videos between uh, SATA and NVMe um, and also about the new drives that are releasing, new processors, new RAM. We, we do that so uh, our clientele know what they're buying, what it's good for, their uses, and um, also lets them, again, understand why it is um, an advantage to use it. When, when, you, just, when you are, for example, a, a, a client that doesn't really have the most technical knowledge and they just need a server to work in their favor, um, we want them to be to understand why we uh, suggest certain parts, why we say we we believe uh, NVMe drives are better for these reasons. They already know, uh, and when we say scalable processes are the the new generation, and um, they can they can understand why they should, you know, give it a chance, give it a go. Of course, there are times when um, it is, you know, out of their budget as such, but. Um, you know, as times go on, the new technology will be released and they will always have the, new, the news up ahead. We always try to inform our customers um, in advance so they can prepare for the, for the new releases. Yes, that is really important. Uh, I tell many companies that here you really need to teach and uh, uh, explain your things to your customers, show how they need to uh, implement things, how they should use things, uh, just teach them in, uh, information and show them stuff instead of here you have the product good luck with it yeah. that's really important the extra information of course so Seb thanks for your time Thank and you. check out our uh, channel server factory I will link it all down in the description of course and thanks for watching